has a lot of tools against Falco that I think makes the matchup pretty even, but even only if Falco can get what he wants, if that makes any sense. Sorry, not if he can get what he wants, if he can avoid certain things. Because there are certain options that make the matchup very much so in Peach's favor, and situations that can turn the tides very easily to Peach's favor, whereas Falco, it's more of a grind. You can win the matchup. He wins neutral, in my opinion. His combo game can be solid, uh, but it's not as it's not quite as automatic as, as it is for Peach, in the sense that the punish game on Peach's Falco is a lot less uh, flow charted. When it comes to it, the best Falco we've seen in the matchup is PP, and even then, you saw him you saw him struggle a lot to kill Peach. Uh, they don't they just don't have the kind of uh, they're not equal when it comes to like death touch ability. Because if Peach touches Falco correctly, it's the touch of death. There's nothing Falco can do to a certain degree to stop him from getting like 30 damage off of a single conversion if it hits right. And you know that's a that's if he doesn't die from it. Peach obviously uh, can be dealt with by Falco if you have the right mindset, if you're patient enough. Uh, the, like I said, I firmly believe the matchup is even. But the caveat is Peach can get a lot off of one hit, and Falco can get a lot of hits, pretty much. He can get a lot of neutral hits, but he can't get many that matter as much as Peach. Hopefully we see this play out in-game, mostly because I just don't want to say something and then be, pro be uh, proven a fraud like two minutes later. Kind of a kind of a fear of mine. But either way, y'all already know I'm a fraud. Doesn't change, uh, you know, doesn't change anyone's opinions. So let's get on into it. Right, ar already we're seeing Imder. He's controlling neutral pretty well. Forcing Plus to either roll or, you know, just get out of there in some some fashion or way. Uh, he's good at recognizing when um, when he hits a shine and when he can combo. And stuff like that is why Imder is considered the rising star of Indy. He, the guy tends more events. You could see him on a Midwest, like a regional scale, and then possibly on a national scale if he gets, you know, good enough. Because this, this is similar to how Rick started out. You know, you had a had some random Falco player from a north suburb of Indianapolis who was solid but didn't go to too many events. And with Rick, we saw him go to events and suddenly become, you know, the, the um, how you say, Midwest savior in a way, at least Indiana Messiah. But anyway, we could see the same thing from Indra in the future, but first he has to get past plus. And right now we're seeing what I talked about where the, the neutral exchanges are definitely in Falco's favor. He can get some uh, meaty punishes like that that was so good uh, make recognizing he can get that F smash right after hitting the second laser laser F smash is uh, I think guaranteed if they're close enough to the ground and if you hit them with that laser uh, when they're in the air but now tries to go for a down down uh, what is it down air dash attack uh, does not space it correctly so the dash attack hitbox is behind peach instead of kind of through her Clanks with Shine, putting on some Shine pressure. He kind of reads the roll, but doesn't commit to an option. I like it, but he could have gotten something. Maybe uh, maybe just like a grab or whatever. Falco can't get too much off of grabs in the matchup, but you know, it's, it's percent and it's something. Oh, wow, my boy was going for it all. He said, go ahead, release that A button, I dare you. And plus, happily obliged. We've got walls with those uh, back airs from Falco. More walls uh, with the back airs. And now he kind of has to concede in a way. He has to let Peach come back to hovering above uh, stage just in order to have these plats so he can clip her when he's, she's up there. Got a... Uh, Uh-oh. Here's where it starts. He gets the jab reset. Could be big. He misses the the uh, up air, that could have been very big. He's, you saw he had the read on uh, Imder teching in place or missing a tech. And that's huge if he can get the up air, but didn't. And we're gonna see, we're, we're, we're gonna see the punish from that, what he takes from it. He's gonna lose the stock pretty much because he made that one crucial air. He comes firing back immediately. That's a dead bird. Nope, no it's not. It's a bird that can OMS attack down smashes and has monster angles. So never mind. Blackhawk not down. And no, 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 no. That's a dead bird. That is a bird on a stick. Not a stick. A wire? Nah. Now he's a bird on a wire. He's on that top plat. 
just peering down, waiting for Peach to do something. This is, I referenced this with Sheik earlier, but Falco can also lame Peach out on uh, Dreamland 2. But not as effectively when Plus is getting all these nice power shield. Makes everything a lot harder for Falco players trying to uh, just get the one neutral hit they need to take it to death. Or in some cases, that one neutral hit that will kill. Hopefully, Imder, for, for Imder, he doesn't get to that kind of percent. He, always, he already tries to do an F smash. We got, we got power shields by plus. My man's solid. And well-placed Nair. Nice F smash. She is without a jump, but she does have that umbrella. This could change everything. Can plus get back to the stage, or will Imder clean it up? He tries to go for the down smash. Doesn't get it. Peach with a turn up in hand. Hits Falco. Nice tech on that down smash. Not giving Imder enough time to react to do some option, but he gets it off of that uh, neutral air that he set up from the down air. Classic Falco stuff. And we're going to go into game two. Okay. Game two, here's, here's what I want to see. If we're going to Fountain Dreams, the Peach staple, what I want to see from Falco is some careful play. He really can't afford to be underneath a lot of plats when Peach is, you know, crouching on one when they're at these low, 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 uh, what is it, heights, platform heights. Because a lot of times, Falco's hair has, I think it's p part of his hurt boxes in there. So, like, he can get clipped just by something hitting his hair. And if you think I'm not mad about that, you, you are sadly mistaken. I'm very mad about that. My man's hairdo makes him, like, almost as tall as Marth. Like, there's no, dude, it just goes to show. With Falco, it's like, do you really want to win or just look good losing? Because you know he looks good with that hair. But no one's going to go tell him to change it because it makes his hurt box bigger. Like, you know he's just going to disregard you. He can do it his way. I don't know what I'm saying. Either way, we're here at Master Hand Monthly. We've got Loser Semis Plus versus Imder, kind of the rising stars of the last year. Here at the Monthly, that's a double dip. Double dips on Peach are really, really easy to get as Falco. If you just get the DI right the first time at the juicy percent, you can almost always get that second dare. And it's pretty much, it's one of the few tools Falco has to kill Peach early. And by early, I mean like at 60 or 80 percent to that range. Like, Falco doesn't have too many options for that. Peach just survives really well and uh, avoids edge guards. It's very hard for Falco to get Peach in a conventional manner. Especially if you're talking about, um, especially if you want Falco to live, you can do plenty of suicide games, but uh, you know, you wanna you wanna win, or do you? Got a full hop nair for uh, getting to top plat. Top plat, I think, is a little low. If I'm correct in this uh, particular stage, uses the turn up. What's he gonna get? That's another dip. No, it's not. He just gets the uh, back air for good measure in order to seal out the stock. Plus sharking waiting for Imder to do something unsafe in the air so he can punish accordingly. Imder's not taking the bait. He's being really careful. Ah, that's that's going to be it for the bird. But what are we going to get? What are we going to get? That's 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 what we got to That's what we got to That's what we got what we got to answer. What are we going to get from Imder? on Plus's counter pick, because I already know what Plus is going to do. What are the things Ender can do with these plats? Because I think I think Plus would be the favorite in this matchup, and just as I say that he falls, Plus, he's down on his own counter pick now. Um, he has the potential to bring it back, if given the right circumstances. But, uh, you know, I don't know if he's going to get it. Ender's looking really solid in this game, uh, game, game two. And he already took game one, too. But that's going to be the start of the, uh, hopefully the start of the ending for Imder. We got a stitch face in hand. Both players see it. Imder lets out a little laugh. He's trying to alleviate the stress. But, you know, no amount of laughing can distract you from the fact that, okay, it's gone. <laughs> a little overdramatic there, but, you know, a stitch can change everything. Nice power shield by plus. Falco's laser game, not not as traditionally strong on this stage. And I say traditionally because there's plenty of uh, ways you can make it strong. I like that through the plats by uh, plus. Good recognition. Falco's hair, dooming him once again. The life of a swag monster is, is a hard one. And, uh, well, at this point, the comeback is looking 
really possible for um, for plus, but he has to be really careful. That's just what Imder wants, is he wants an unsafe option off the ledge. Up air? No, we get uh, what looks to be a uh, moonwalk into nothing. This could be it. No, 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 we get a back air. Smart by plus, he escapes. And he's being really careful. He doesn't want to lose the stock if he doesn't have to. He's at a, such a low shield. Goes for a Hail Mary dash attack, and he gets the down smash on the plat. He tries to uh, cover as many options as possible in that situation. Nice. Oms attack by Imder. Is that going to be it? We don't know. Imder just misses his punish. But Falco's above Peach, and that's a good spot for him. That's going to be it with that up tilt. Looks like we're going to a game three. Is it going to be a quick 30 for Imder? Or are we going to see uh, Plus make it back? We know he's good at adapting. We've seen it before. It's only a matter of when. Uh, okay. Yeah, get, get Daisy Peach out of there, dude. You're going to come up to me, tell me, act like Daisy Peach isn't the worst color of Peach? How dare you? How dare She looks plastic. Anyone can fight me on that. I don't care. I don't even care if I lose. My point stands. I'll go down with it. We got a counter pick back to Fountain of Dreams. Imder manages to slip by, almost gets a combo started, but kind of messes up his uh, movement out of shine, and that's not safe, my guy. In a different way than uh, what we're used to seeing that in the context. We saw Imder trying to up smash through the plat, and uh, plus just using the invincibility of down smash and the really good hitboxes to just say, nuh uh. No, you're going to take like 50 for that. We got a nice reverse bear. I like the uh, kind of shizwiz esque laser, laser up smash by Falco, by uh, Imder in that situation. He does not get his shield pressure correctly, and we have a turn up. That's going to be. That's not going to be it. What a recovery by Imder. The kid's looking good. Platform canceled that Nair into a rising bear, what it looked like. That was so fresh, and that's going to be it for Plus's first stock. Both kind of laughing it off. But um, you know right now Imdr's kind of feeling good for himself. He's like, well, okay, now he's not. He's feeling a lot less so. But what he's going to do with this invincibility? He immediately goes for pressure. He's, he knew that down smash was coming, but an unsafe bear on shield is going to be big damage for Plus. Imder spacing around very well. Plus is on the run. His shield is not looking good. And Imder wants to capitalize. We got a shield poke right there, what it looks like. Nice up B out of shield by Plus, sending him all the way over to the ledge with that reverse hit, I think. Um, all right, touches the ground, immediately gets to ledge. Good stuff. This is a situation where both players are pretty tense. They're both still in combo percents. And uh, with Falco, you know, he can... Falco spawns at death percent, so it doesn't matter as much for him. At this point, he's probably thinking about, like, I just want to take the stock. I just want to take the stock and get some extra credit, maybe. You know, if I can take it all the way, that's good. But you know when Peach is at this low of a percent, the amount of safe options become a lot more limited. you got to be really careful with your spacing, where you're putting your moves, and also where you're shielding. Because Plus could just go up and, you know, do that. Imder's back though. He's back and he's he's trying to trying to build up some good pressure, but you can't hit Peach out of her float with a dare and then immediately try to combo her. In fact, don't hit her out with a dare at all, uh, unless she's at like a percent where it causes immediate knockdown, because let me tell you, she can go down there and uh, spin city all day. Washing machine, baby. <sighs> and good getting to ledge, but double laser from the ledge, not safe. Makes it through with the side B, but gets clipped on the back part of his nair. Nice smash DI. That was insane. He, he lands behind plus in that situation. But that's not going to be good enough. He still falls. Plus stacking up the percent. Just go for it, dude. No, you should have just fell. I, I think you should just fell and done fair. Suicide fair. You had two stocks left. And at this point, you have given Imder the opportunity for a comeback. And that's not something you want. That's something you want to avoid because Peach is, or uh, Falco is able to make a comeback. He is one of those characters. Especially when you put him back on stage. Looking rough for Imder. Can he make it back? He does. 
but that's going to be it. He doesn't have a jump. Plus clutches it out, making sure the comeback doesn't happen. Very important. I still don't know if my match for amateurs has been called. I don't think it is. I hope it's not. Either way, y'all can find me here. Talking over video games at Master Hand Monthly, January 2018, Losers Semis, Imder vs. Plus. We're at a game four right now, and Imder is kind of, um, he's kind of poised to take this. If he can clutch out just one more game, either the game four or the game five. We're immediately seeing these lasers. Imder wants to be careful. Doesn't want to take any uh, any unnecessary risks. Fades away from the uh, from the uh, from Peach after the down air, knowing that a down smash is possible. Was he listening to me? Am I influencing the match? I don't think so. I think Imder's just a smart guy. What do we got now? Crouch cancel that into a shine. See, crouch canceling against Peach is good, but you have to be careful because obviously everyone's afraid of the crouch cancel down smash. But uh, especially against her aerials, against her dash attacks, sometimes at very low percents, and um, you know some other options. Crouch canceling may actually be the best option to do. I know Captain Falcon mains use it a lot in the matchup. Falco mains are probably a little more scared. Uh, although they really shouldn't be because in terms of short-range recovery, Falco's short-range recovery is, I think, much better than Falcon's short-range recovery. Obviously, Falco can't go as far as Falcon in terms of sheer distance, but you have a lot of predictability with Falcon. Uh, whereas with Falco, you have a lot of different mix-ups you can try out, and that doesn't... I'm not even including all the different angles of fire, fire burden, and that makes, uh, that makes things quite a bit different. What are we getting now? Imder charging in. That's going to be death. That was uh, not the best DI. Imder with a stock lead here on Yoshi's story. His counter pick, game four. He's kind of patrolling the top plats. Is it his? Is it actually his? Yeah, no, it, it is his uh, counter pick. Gets caught up in the cake mix with that down smash, and he's going to go down to being pretty much even with plus. Uh, I'm not counting 11%. That's not nearly enough of a lead for it to really matter because Peach can still crouch cancel everything. Until she gets to around 50 or 60, that's where I'm going to start saying Imder has a lead. But just as I say that, plus saying you're not going to say Imder has a lead because he doesn't anymore. And in this matchup, Falco's percent really... Both their percents matter, but uh, Falco wants to make sure he doesn't get into that juicy range where everything just hurts so much and everything strings into everything. And we might actually might be seeing that right now. He's at a percent where if Plus would have reacted a little better, it doesn't matter, he actually takes it. But he could have taken it sooner if he reacted just a little faster. Takes it anyway. Randall coming in to save. What a what an unexpected turn of events. Peach on the ledge is uh, without a lot of options. She retreats back to Randall where Imder catches him saying, where are you going? Uh, get some backup on stage so he can set up for that back air. Real pretty. We are on the cusp of uh, a game five, or Imder might just say, "Nah, son, we taking it all." Doing the uh, doing the up out of a shine. I assume to reach the ground faster. He's going with these up smashes. They're risky though, as we saw in the other game. Uh, Plus's hitboxes for the down smash, I think, might actually beat out the legs so you gotta be really careful Imder's poised to take this all he needs to do is finish it up we got a spin to win request from Frigid interjecting in the last game he's doing the same here this time for Imder can Imder retreat to the other side and fire enough low lasers he's going for the little brother lasers And at this point, you're probably wondering, just like I am, what? why did it come to this? What have we devolved to? Where we got Peach hiding on the slant from the Falco lasers. That's what happens when you play this matchup well. You make Peach afraid. Imder showing us all why we shouldn't be scared of the Pink Menace. And just with that strong back air, Imder takes it. They hug it out. And the young Imder is going on into, I think, Loser's Finals to fight Lance. Yo, is that...